Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we have a highly relevant and important topic to discuss, the types of cyber crimes. In this digital age where technology empowers us, it's crucial to understand the darker side of the internet, cyber crimes. In this video, we'll discuss what cyber crimes are, the motive behind cyber crimes and the different types of cyber crimes. But before we begin, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them interesting, then subscribe to our channel because we bring the best videos for you daily. Also hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. With cyber crimes becoming more prevalent and severe, it has become crucial to address the cyber security skill gap and overcome the shortage of cyber talent. If you are interested in pursuing a career in cyber security and acquiring the necessary skills, then our postgraduate program in cybersecurity in collaboration with MIT University is surely the right choice for you. Gain expertise in defensive and offensive cybersecurity, digital forensics, ethical hacking, penetration testing, and other crucial domains with this intensive program. Our comprehensive program offers a curriculum that encompasses a wide range of in demand cybersecurity tools, hands on labs, and guided practices. Throughout the course, you will embark on a well-structured learning journey, starting with the fundamental cybersecurity concepts and progressing through asset and inventory management, network systems, Python programming, system administration, offensive security, and defensive security practices. To ensure your readiness for the industry, you will also engage in multiple projects, allowing you to hone your skills and emerge as an exceptional cybersecurity professional. Furthermore, this course will help you learn comprehensive approaches to protecting your infrastructure and securing data, including risk analysis, mitigation, and compliance. So hurry up and find the course link in the description box for more details. Before we explore the various types of cyber crimes, let's grasp what cyber crimes are and the motives behind cyber crimes. Cyber crimes are malicious activities carried out by hackers to compromise computers, networks, and sensitive information. The motives can range from financial gain, political agendas, and revenge to simply causing chaos. We must be aware of these threats to protect ourselves and our digital assets. Understanding cybercrime's motive helps develop effective cybersecurity strategies to mitigate and respond to these threats. Some of the most common motives behind cybercrimes are financial gain. Money is a big reason for cyber crimes. Bad guys want to steal important money related information like credit cards and logins. They sell this info secretly or use it to trick others and steal their identity. There's also ransomware, where they lock your stuff and ask you money to unlock it. Business spying. In the business world, cyber crimes can be like stealing secrets. Companies or even countries might hack to take valuable ideas, secrets, or special information from each other. It's like peeking at someone's notes to get ahead. The third one is politics or strong beliefs. Some people use cyber crimes to show they are upset about politics or belief. They might hack into government or company stuff to make a statement. They might mess things up or share secret info to get attention. The fourth one is revenge. Imagine someone doing something mean to you and you want to get back at them. Some cyber crimes happen because people want revenge. They use hacking to hurt the people or groups they are mad at. The last is digital scary stuff. Sometimes cyber crimes are like online scary movies. Hackers can try to scare many people by attacking important things like power or transportation. This makes life difficult for everyone and creates chaos. Now let's dive into some of the most common types of cyber crimes along with their characteristics. The first one is hacking. Hacking involves gaining unauthorized access to computer systems, networks, or devices with the intention of obtaining sensitive information, causing damage, or disrupting services. Hackers may exploit vulnerabilities in software, weak passwords, or insecure network configuration to gain access. Once inside, they can steal data, install malware, or even take control of systems. Hacking can target individuals, businesses, or government entities. And the motivations can range from financial gain to activism. The second one is phishing. Phishing is a type of cybercrime where attackers send deceptive mails, messages, or websites that appear to be from legitimate source to trick recipients into revealing sensitive information such as passwords, credit cards, 
or personal details. These messages often create a sense of urgency or alarm to encourage recipients to click on malicious links or download harmful attachments. Phishing attacks can lead to identity theft, financial loss or unauthorized account access. The third type is ransomware. Ransomware is a form of malicious software that encrypts a victim's files or entire system, rendering them inaccessible. The attacker then demands a ransom payment to provide the decryption key. Ransomware attacks can severely disrupt businesses and individuals by preventing access to critical data and systems. Payment of the ransom does not guarantee that the attacker will provide the decryption key. And even if they do, it encourages the growth of this criminal activity. The next type is malware. Malware is a broad category of malicious software that includes viruses, worms, trojans and spyware. These programs are designed to infect computers and networks, often with the goal of stealing sensitive information, causing damage or gaining unauthorized access. Viruses and worms spread themselves by attaching to legitimate files or exploiting vulnerabilities, while Trojans disguise themselves as legitimate software. Spyware is designed to secretly gather information from a victim's device, often for the purpose of stealing personal and financial data. The last step we are going to discuss is the identity theft. Identity theft involves obtaining and using someone else's personal information such as their name, social security number, credit card details or bank account information without their consent. Cyber criminals engage in identity theft to commit various fraudulent activities such as making unauthorized purchases, applying for loans or credit cards and even committing crimes in the victim's name. This type of cybercrime can lead to financial ruin, damage to credit scores and legal issues for the victims. So these top 5 cybercrimes highlight the diverse ways in which cybercriminals exploit technology and human vulnerabilities for financial gain, personal motives or other malicious purposes. It's important for individuals and organizations to be vigilant, adopt strong cybersecurity practices and stay informed about emerging threats to mitigate the risks associated with these cybercrimes. Now that we have covered these cybercrimes, let's discuss some safety measures to protect ourselves online. The first is keep your software updated. Regularly update your operating system, applications and antivirus software to patch vulnerabilities that hackers might exploit. Use strong passwords. Create complex passwords and use a password manager to track them. Avoid using the same password across multiple accounts. Enable two-factor authentication. Turn on two-factor authentication whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second verification step. The next is, be cautious of suspicious links. Never click on links from unknown sources. Hover over links to check their destination before clicking. The last is, educate yourself. Stay informed about the latest cyber threats and educate yourself on best practices to stay safe online. So there you have it. A comprehensive overview of common types of cyber crimes and the steps you can take to protect yourself. Remember, vigilance and awareness are your best allies in the digital world. Before we end this video, let's take a minute to hear it out from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers through a postgraduate program in cybersecurity. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples. It was led by highly skilled certified instructors. I worked with many companies before as a security analyst and an architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened after I took the course. But first and foremost, I've been a learner. Be a learner first. So that's all for this video guys. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or doubts, put them down in the comment section below and a team of experts will definitely answer them for you. So we'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. 
Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.